Let me see you do this. Hi! Good morning. Happy Monday to you. What's today? Day? Days. Mm -hmm. Woo! Happy Monday, January the 8th. We're so excited to see you. My name is Minister Shonda Tucker, and this handsome man that's out of the screen. What's your name, sir? Good morning, everyone. My name is Minister Al Tucker. How y'all doing this morning? Another glorious day. We are super excited because guess what, y'all? Today is the first day of our fast. You super excited about it? <laughs> I'm excited about the fast. Our corporate fast, our ministry is Pursuit First Presence Ministries, and it is under the leadership of our senior pastors, Pastor Kevin and Kendra Blanton. So shout out to them this morning. Shout out to our church family. But we're super excited because today does begin the first day of our corporate fast, corporate meeting collectively as a body of believers. Um, our corporate fast starts today. It is from January the 8th through January the 28th, 21 days of power. Yes, that starts today. Um, if you don't have your resource already, you need to pick it up. Reroute your faith in 21 days. Who is about uh -huh. read it? Dr. Kendra, Richburg, Glanton, and Pursuit for His Presence Ministries. Yay! It is our, I would say it's the devotional. Um, it has been in the making for years. We have um, poured into it Holy Spirit. It's Holy Spirit inspired. And it is going to help you get your life, get your faith together. Um, it is available on Amazon. It's available on Kindle. Again, it's called Reroute Your Faith in 21 Days. Woo! It's exciting. Okay, and so even if you don't get it, for the fast, it's one of those things, if y'all don't know by now, we believe in giving you resources so you have materials to, to refer back to. But just give you a little glimpse inside of it. Um, it gives you a daily guide of what you need to be doing, how you need to structure your day. It gives you um, a daily prayer, declarations, things that you need to be declaring over you and over your family. How to pray effectively. Mm. All right, and then day one, which you should be starting today, is the believer's authority. We're going to start you out knowing who you are and whose you are and what authority belongs to you as a child of God. So every day there's going to be a topic, and then there is a prayer at the end of that um, section so that you pray. So like the prayer for today would be about the believer's authority. So again, this is the resource that we're using for our 21-day corporate fast. It's called Reroute Your Faith in 21 Days. Again, it's available on Amazon and on Kindle. It's not big, just 21 days, 21 days of power. You need this. It's going to bless your life real, real good. We're not even sharing this time. We got our own resources because we're not sharing. Because you know, when you're on a fast, you need something tangible. You put your eyes on. And, mm, so yeah, get your own. Get your own. I even have it on uh, Kindle. So when I'm at work. Mm. Bless the Lord. So get it. It's going to bless you real, real good. I promise you um, reroute your faith in 21 days. So reroute it, taking it to a different level, going further in the Lord. If you are joining us on this 21 day fast, again, if you're just hopping on, uh, we are starting a corporate fast today. It runs from January the 8th through January the 28th, 21 days of power. If you're joining us on the fast, we're not telling you how to fast, what to fast from, or fast to. That's between you and Jesus, Holy Spirit. Ask the Lord to show you what it is that you need to be fasting about or how you need to be fasting. And if you need some ideas, we can give it to you. If you are taking medicine, continue to take your medicine. If you have a specific dietary restriction that you're on, stick to that. Ask the Lord for wisdom and discernment, okay? Because we're believing God for your healing and wholeness. But in the meantime, we're going to be some good patients, all right? Mm -hmm. Till the doctor declares that, confirms what we already know, that the miracle has happened, okay? 
um, what up? Friday. Ooh, Friday. This Friday. Say this Friday. This Friday, <laughs> January the 12th, we will be in person for Friday Night Encounter. Ooh, can you imagine how Friday's gonna be? We've been on a fast all week, and then we're gonna cut. Seven o'clock. I need to see your face in the place. 806 Meadowlark Lane in Goodlandsville, Tennessee. Join us. Pursuit for His Presidents Ministries will be in person this Friday. Say this Friday. This Friday, January 12th, 7 o'clock p.m., Friday night encounter. Come expecting a move from the Lord. Come uh, hanging out with people that's fasting with you, that's fortified, that's, that's ready to go further in the Lord. Let me just say this. Something about doing, I have fasted and continue to fast on my own. But a corporate fast where other believers are standing and praying and, and going hard at the same time, it accelerates what I'm believing God for. There's something about that coming together. Even the word says to, to not forsake the assembling of the saints. So this coming together Friday night, don't meet me there, beat me there, please and thank you. So, this Friday, say it again, this Friday, January 12th, 7 o'clock, 806 Meadowlark Lane in Goodlitzville, Tennessee. Okay, so we're talking about the fast because today is the first day of it and we want to, you know, empower you. There's going to be um, just some updates and things like that on the website as we get words from the Lord or we hear revelation. You need to be logging on to p4hp.org and seeing what's out there because as we get fresh word, fresh manna that comes while we're having this fast, it's not if we get it, it's when we get it because the Lord continually downloads into us whenever we go into a fast like this. So, so that you stay on top of the latest and the greatest, check out the website on a daily basis and see what's being posted there to encourage you as you go throughout this fast. So, husband. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My first question for you about this fast is, why do you fast? I didn't ask the question this morning. I'm not joking. <laughs> um, Are y'all praying? <laughs> <laughs> Look, first of all, let us don't give y'all scripture right for answer. We're going to discuss the scripture a bit later. It comes from Matthew 17, verses 20 and 21. Verse 20 and 21. It says, I'm just give you a uh, New King James Version. It says, So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, for surely I say to you, if you have faith as you must have seen, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, then it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Mm -hmm. Now, it gets back to my, this question that you asked me. Is why do we fast? Mm, for, why do you fast? Why do I fast? I fast to get, you know, get clarity from, get most, most of it to get clarity from the Lord, you know, spend bright time with the Lord and fast because, you know, when, once you fast, you be fast from food, whatever, you get to, you get to spend time with the Lord for the, for the be and do it fast. Because without spending time with the Lord, you, you can't even do it for I mean, you can be able to do it because depending on what you're fasting from. See, some people fast for food. I'm, I'm fasting for some foods that I like. I'm fasting for some more things. And for me not to be able to do those things, and I, I don't have to so stay in contact with the Lord. It's called to pray. To ask the Lord, you know, just give me strength to, to do what I, what, I, what I need to be doing this time. And plus, my fasting, too, you know, it's getting, by fasting, you know, we get it our own way again, you know, and just spend the precious time with the Lord. You know, just pouring into him and as he as he poured to you. So you fasted before and and what was the result? What'd you get out of it? My results always came results always good. I mean I started fasting years ago. During some dark times when I started when I started fasting, but but I got better insight from the Lord because I could speak to the Lord, I could hear him more clearly. Even when the devil was trying to come at me during the fast. You know, the Lord, the Lord kept away from me. He kept away from me because I was, 
I was spending Bible time with him. I was learning, getting more wisdom from his word, just learning what his will for my life was. Yeah. <laughs> um, why do I fast? Uh, I fast for power. Um, I just, I feel like it empowers me that when I am feeling, you know, we usually do it at the start of the year, which I love that. And I will tell you honestly, in the beginning, when I first joined this ministry and, and they were fasting, they were fasting because I was not. Um, <laughs> I was just kind of like, I, I grew up Pentecostal, so it was kind of like, Fasting was just a lifestyle, so doing it at the beginning of the year was kind of like, oh, that's that's when y'all do it. Um, but when I started to join in on this fast and to really um, apply myself to it, I was just so impressed with um, the clarity that I had and how I could ask God about something and hear about it instantly and just... Um, it, it just cleared away the clutter, the distractions of my day and all of that. Um, so it is powerful. We got clarity about um, our relationship when we were uh, even trying to decide if we were supposed to date. We got clarity after a fast to the point that we even extended the fast beyond 21 days just to make sure that we were... Um, hearing from the Lord and on the right page. So it is powerful. If there's some, you know, major decision in your life or just something you want to be able to hear God um, more about or area that you want more power in, that's the purpose of the fasting. Um, and it's been always been powerful for us. I don't think I've ever ended a fasting, but like, hmm. <laughs> it's always like, I'm like energized. Um, the second thing that I- Hold on for the second thing. Um, my wife said something that she said it's when she prayed, if when she on a fast, she get an instant. Now, if you don't get an instant, don't just don't don't in your fast. Cause everybody might everybody might not get an instant. So just continue with your fast. Continue to ask God. Just stay into your fast. Cause the more you stay into your fast, the more God will reveal to you. Cause like she said, when we first started dating, I mean, I was in on the. But 11, 12, I went to the fast before he revealed anything to me about my relationship with, with this lovely lady right here. But I didn't get discouraged because I was, I, was some more, some more, I was praying for some more things too. I had a, I had a laundry list of things I was praying for then, but you know, it, but it worked. I mean, he, he revealed to me about everything I was praying for. And I think the last of all of it was probably about the relationship thing, but because, because all, every, every fast I go into, I just want to get a, I always say I want to be able to the Lord. I want to be close to the Lord. And I, I want to live for the Lord because sometimes we get straight. Now, fasting, you can fast for anything. You know, for people fast for freedom. If you got some stuff on you right now that you feel that the devil beat you down with, fast, fast from that. Fame of God helped me through this through this time. And then doing when and doing your fasting, when God tell you what to do, do it. Don't 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 just when you eat the fast, I ain't gonna do that no more. No, just continue to do it. Cause the more you do, the more you stay in tune with the Lord, the more He'll stay in tune with you. Mm -hmm. Um, right, we're gonna have to address that instantly. <laughs> they, they, you know, this is a constant conversation in our marriage about hearing from the Lord, and he's like, "I don't hear from the Lord as quickly as you do." I'm like. <laughs> it's a fight clock. I'm just joking. Um, but no, we'll talk about that later. But anyway, I let me say I hear from him more quickly. How about that? You want to hear from the Lord more quickly instead of taking weeks and, and days to hear from him, then um, yeah, apply your fast. The other thing is um, the difference between dieting and fasting. A lot of people this time of year have their New Year's resolution. They want to eat better. They want to work out more. They want to, you know, whatever it is that, that they're doing. Um, that's great. All of those are wonderful. A fast is different. We are abstaining so that God can sustain. Mm -hmm. I am not just denying myself of something because um, I want to lose weight. That, that, that may be a byproduct of it because I'm more focused on uh, not eating certain things. Um, and it doesn't always, I have done fast where they had nothing to do with food. It, it could have been I was fasting from social media or I was fasting from TV or I was fasting from anything that 
um, was something that constantly took my time, took a lot of my time up. So when I'm saying, Lord, I like this thing and I enjoy doing it, but I want to give it up for you. When I'm giving the thing up, I'm basically saying I'm going to replace that time with this time. I am going to spend that time that I would have been eating some pizza or um, binge huh? or eating some ice cream <laughs> or um, binge watching a relative race that somehow I've started watching um, or whatever. I am going to take that time and get in this word. And see what the Lord has to say to me. I'm not going to be rushed. The same way I enjoy sitting in front of the TV and watching Relative Race. And I could watch a whole series at, at one, one sitting. I am going to be relaxed. I'm not going to rush God. We're going to have a conversation. I, I may say something. He may say something back. He may tell me several passages of scripture to read. But it's time that I would have normally spent doing something else. I am saying, God, I'm abstaining from that so that you sustain me and we develop our relationship, right? So mm -hmm. that's the difference between um, a diet or a, a New Year's resolution um, and fasting. There has to be praying. There has to be a commitment to the word. There has to be inviting God into the equation or otherwise you're just, you're on a diet. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Um, and you did the scriptures. You did seventeen twenty. The other one, Matthew six sixteen through eighteen. Matthew six. Six sixteen through eighteen. He was just on it. Yeah, I'm going to read that one. Lesson, Lord. Okay, let's see. 16 to 18. We're going. All right, let's go with the, we'll go with the Passion Translation. Matthew 6, 16 to 18. When you fast, don't look gloomy and pretend to be spiritual. They want everyone to know they're fasting, so they appear in public. Looking miserable and disheveled. Believe me, they have already received the reward. Perception 18. When you fast, don't let it be obvious, but instead, wash your face and groom yourself and realize that your father in the secret place is the one who is watching all that you do in secret and will continue to reward you. Oh, I thought you were Usually when you're fasting, um, it's not something that you announce. We're sharing it because this is a corporate fast, meaning it is a collective group of believers who are fasting together. And because we're using a common resource. The resource, again, if you just jumped on, is Reroute Your Faith in 21 Days by Dr. Kendra Richburg Blanton in Pursuit First Presence Ministries. So this is a 21 day devotional that we're going to be going through as we um, are on the fast. The fast is 21 days, 21 day devotional. Easy button. So when this is saying don't make it public, do not be at work like y'all know I'm on this fast. So, oh God. I would, I would eat with y'all, but I'm on this fast. I'm on this fast stuff. I'm, I would go. But I'm on this fast. <laughs> that is not what you do. You can let, you know, the members of your household know or, you know, a few significant people, hey, I'm going to be fasting, you know, the next 21 days or whatever, pray my strength in the Lord. But it's not something that you constantly announce. It's not that you don't keep yourself up or you look hungry and you just walk around like, I wish I could have that, but I'm on this fast. If you're doing that, the word says you have your reward. What we're doing, the reason why we're sharing it is, is we're doing it together. And so this community is doing it together and we're keeping each other encouraged through the process. So it's not something we're doing as an outside show for the world. 
we are doing it together because the word says iron sharpens iron. So we are collectively going before the Lord together. Um, if you want on here earlier, if you are joining us for the fast, put that in the comments so that we can pray with you so that our intercessory prayer team can be covering you and lifting you on a daily basis. If you feel comfortable sharing what you're praying about, put that in there as well so that we know what we're standing with you for. If not, you just put your name in there. Um, and let us know. Um, if you're not feeling like you can do the whole 21 days, that's fine too. Um, do what what the Lord places on your heart. Maybe a week commitment. If you haven't um, done a fast before, um, some people go, go way too hard in the beginning and then get discouraged and give up. Um, so it, it, you have to have wisdom in, in how you move forward with this. Um, I have done a liquid fast. It, it is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> I've done no food and no liquids. Uh, I think the most I've been able to do that is 48 hours, but it's intense. So, so we're not advocating for that at all. We're advocating that maybe you just pick one thing that you absolutely love. If it's TV, if it's social media, if it's um, ice cream. Whatever, whatever would be a struggle for you that is something that you really enjoy, coffee or, or what have you, um, abstain from that for maybe a week and just say, Lord, I, I want to strengthen my relationship with you. I want to abstain from this thing so that you can sustain. It's not a chore. It's not a burden. It is a privilege to be able to, to sacrifice some of the pleasures that we have access to and say, God, I want more of you. I want less of what this world has to offer, less of the, um, uh, what does it say, the pleasantries, the delicacies of this world. I want more of you so that, that God can just say, oh my gosh, I see this sacrifice. I see what you're doing and, and let me um, meet you right where you are. So again, we've done it uh, for several years um, and it has been powerful. Um, I'm just going to put it out there. I don't think that I've ever gone on a fast, um, especially with this group, and not heard an answer to what I was asking the Lord about. Now, it might not have been the answer that I wanted, but the answer was clear, <laughs> and he confirmed it. And so um, take this opportunity, even if you hadn't planned to go on the fast. Um, just ask the Lord. If you don't start this week, start next week. But again, it's going from January the 8th through January the 28th. Um, if you can't do 21, do 14 or do 7. But do something as a sacrifice and as a commitment to the Lord. And the Lord will begin to edify you and strengthen you. And, and maybe next year you'll go the whole 21 days. Um, no matter what, get this resource. I'm not just saying it just because it's it came from our ministry. I'm saying it because there are things in here that I have been in church my whole life and didn't understand. The authority of the believer that I, as a child of God, had authority to decree a thing. That I didn't have to just accept it is what it is. That I didn't have to just hope it was a good day. That I could decree and declare that certain things would happen. And because God, they would give God an opportunity to come in and show himself strong on my behalf. That you don't have to just put up with foolishness and, and just... Um, folks acting any old kind of way that you can say, now, Lord, I take you at your word. I'm standing on this. I'm not going to live paycheck to paycheck, or I'm not going to um, be envious of the wicked or, or whatever it is. Finding out that I had authority was like, oh, this is wonderful. And where does that authority come from? About seed time and harvest, about um, cultivating your seed. When you put a seed in the ground, how um, when you sow a seed into ministry, how you have to at the same time set an expectation. The people who live behind us have a garden and and they are diligent with the garden, right? And so I kept asking Tuck, I was like, what did she get out there in January? Like, why is it still green stuff out there? He was like, I think it's collards or something. But she was diligent. No matter what the weather was like, she was out there tending to her garden, watching over the seed that she had sown. When you sow a seed into ministry, you need to set your expectation that there is going to be a harvest. Who is sowing seed and not expecting to see something or 
tending the seed. You put the seed in the ground and never look at it again. It's overgrown with weeds and everything because you haven't taken care of it. So this is teaching you principles about that. The Holy Spirit. Who is he? What does he do? What is the baptism of the Holy Spirit? All of those things are in this 21 day. 21 day devotional. So even if you don't get it in time for the fast, which you should be able to because it's on Amazon, but just so many things that will increase your, your walk with the Lord. Again, things that I have been in, in, the, in the church for years and did not know, I found out from this ministry and then those things are contained in this book. So it'll bless you real, real good. Okay. Anything else? My mm -hmm. love book. Oh, uh, the other scriptures. Um, Matthew, what, 6? No, Matthew 17, 20, 21. Um, if you don't, this came about, the scripture came about when Jesus was telling them how, you know, they have faith in my seed. But it came about because it was this man, he, he was, he, he went to the, he went, actually went to the disciples first. He had a son that, um, that, that the demon had possessed his son, but thrown him to the fire, thrown him to the wood. The demon was trying to kill his son. So he came to Jesus, you know, and um, so after Jesus, Jesus, Got the demon out of his son. He went, the disciple asked him, well, "Why couldn't we do that?" And so he told him at the end, he said, "Because of your faith. Because you know you, you, got, you, see, you got to have more faith, and you got you got to believe that it's gonna happen." I mean, me personally, I don't know if I can cast a demon to nobody right now, but I know God can. I can. <laughs> but uh, I, know, I know God can. So. You get like you get have, have faith in my seeds. You, and, and doing your and why are we doing this faith? I mean, doing this fast, you can increase your faith because you got to have faith that you be able to endure doing this fast. And that's one thing I like with fast because even when, when my body, I mean, it's time to eat, and you know, uh, you know, look, I, and I'm if I fast from something else, then I said, well, I might want to do that, but I got to you know in my back of my head, God, like, we on this fast, so we gonna endure because you got to have, you got to you got to please God first. Cause if not, you gonna be you gonna be sustained fast no way. Mm -hmm. Cause we you know you might get high God, you know I'm, I'm praying, I'm praying for some things, I'm asking for some things, and I know for all to get these things, hear you more clearly. I need to stick to what I plan to do. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's not a diet, but you know it's, it's fast will become a way of life too. I mean, because since when I first started fasting, I did it first, you know, just to just to clear up some things, just to get clarity from God, just to get some other stuff away from me, get stuff out of my life. And and, and when it happened, I said, well, this, this kind of works. So so I just continued. I mean, last year, I don't think we fast as much as we, as we probably should have. But hopefully this year we get back on, on where we can where we do fast more. Because we come, we, we, me and you, because we fast for some collective things too. I mean, if you, if you are married and, you're, and you and your wife, uh, and both of y'all had been a mission, both of y'all but believes in God, fast from, you might want to fast some things together. So me and my wife fast some things together. What are you fasting for? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> and, uh, what are we fasting <laughs> for? I'd be honest, we fast some, ask some for clarity on, on our ministry and everything. You know, and this, this fasting for time, one of those time management. So <laughs> we fast for we could hit some fast and spend more time with you. Now, I'm not telling you fast from work. Some <laughs> <laughs> but um, not only for you, know, you fast for anything, not, not only fast food, but when in order in doing this, when you're doing this fast, you're gonna get you, you know, when you're doing this fast, you're gonna gain faith. You gain faith in the Lord, you gain faith in God's word, because especially when you start seeing it, seeing it come, come to fruition, you know, in, in, in a fast, you got to give up something to gain something. So, what you give up, it ain't gonna be compared to nothing what you can gain. Also, um, one of the things, uh, we went on a, on a date Saturday, and uh, during the date, we were talking about this. What are we fasting for? Like, we knew what we were, <clears throat> some of the things we were fasting for individually, but it was like, what are we fasting for collectively? And uh, even today, Heavy was like, we need to write this down. We need to write this down. So that's important, too. Whatever it is that you're standing for in the fast, Write it down. Write some scriptures down that the Lord gives you so that you can refer back to it. It will feed your faith when you look back and say, you know, I remember when I was really standing for that thing and how God just really showed up. So just write it down. Um, put your eyes on it every day as you go before the Lord. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not telling you something I'm, I heard. I'm telling you something that we know. It 
works. It is powerful and it's going to bless you real good. We're going to uh, stand with you and believe God with you. If you put your name in the chat, again, if you're fasting with us, just put, put your name in the chat or just say I'm joining the fast um, so that we can have not just us, but our church family praying for you. Our intercessory prayer team is going to be praying over the list of everyone who is fasting with us. So we're not going to ask you how long you're fasting. That's between you and God, even with your fasting um, from the that's between you and God. Um, sometimes um, it does become difficult as you go throughout the fast and if you're abstaining from something. But one of the things that I remind myself is I want God more than I want this thing. So um, if, if that helps you to encourage you to, to just abstain from it. And don't make it a punishment. Don't make it a chore. But it's just an opportunity to get closer to the Lord. Okay? So we're going to pray with you real quick and cover you as you begin this fast. As you begin your week and just believe God for some great things in your life. Again, if you're in the Middle Tennessee area, plan to join us Friday night at 7 p.m. for Friday Night Encounter at 806 Meadow Lark Lane in Goodlesville, Tennessee. Um, because coming together physically during a fast is going to be powerful. I already know it. So, again, plan to join us Friday. Amen. Ready? Anything else? I think that's it. You sure? I think so. Thank you. You want to tell me what you're about? Pray for my wife, Father God, in the name of Jesus, just thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us just to come to you, dear Lord. Thank you yes, for this God. time we get to spend with you, Father God. And thank you for the time that we're going to spend with you on this 21 day fast, Father God. Father God, just be with each and every one who's going on this fast, Father God. Consecrate their minds, Father God. Yes, God. And let them come to you, Father God, wholeheartedly, Father God. Father God, continue to search our minds, our hearts, our souls, Father God. And Father God, anything that's hindering us from being able to do this fast, Father God, we just lay it on the right in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, we're going to abstain for you can't sustain, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, we don't know what people are asking for, Father God, but we still going to lift them up, Father God. We're going yes, to just praise your holy name, Father God, because we know without you, we cannot make it through this fast, no way. So, Father God, thank you, Father God. Thank you for your patience, Father God. Thank you for your love, Father God. Father God, thank you for your word, Father God. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, Father God. Father God, just thank you for allowing us the ability to be able to fast, Father God. And Father God, let us be us for doing this fast, because we know Satan will be busy trying to protect us while we are doing on this fast, Father God. Because we know he attacked yourself, he came up a fast, Father God. So that we know he's going to try to attack us, Father God. So right now, in the name of Jesus, Father God, we're going to bind Satan right now in Jesus' mighty name, Father God. We're going to chain him up, Father God. Keep him at bay, Father God, for we can receive your word, Father God. We can see what you need for us to do doing this fast, Father God. So let's thank you, Father God. Let's thank you for your mind of Christ that you're giving each and every one of us, Father God. And Father God, let the way we live, Father God, be a blessing to you, to, to you, Father God. Be yes, pleased in your eyesight in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, we want to love, want to adore you, want to praise you in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. For there's nothing we can do with you, so just walk with us, talk with us doing this fast, Father God. And just keep us on that straight and narrow path, the one that goes straight to you, dear Lord. Father, I just thank you that I hear you saying... <clears throat> I hear you saying, God, that you can do a quick work. Father, even though this fast is 21 days, God, I just decree and declare over your people now that from day one to day 21, that they will begin to see miracles, signs, and wonders, God, that you will show yourself strong on their behalf every day of this fast as they begin to turn their face to the wall and pray and to reach out to you and to cry out to you, God, that you will begin to open doors that have seemed like they could not open, that you will begin to close doors, that you'll begin to make a way where there seems to be no way. I thank you, God, for downloading into your people revelation, knowledge, God, that they're able to see an old problem in a new way. I thank you, God, for healing and praise reports that will come forward saying that the Lord has done this thing and it is marvelous in our eyes. God, I thank you from day one for answered prayers. I thank you for holy boldness. I thank you for just showing yourself strong on 
behalf of these, your people. Teach us, Father God, how to make fasting and praying a lifestyle, God. Father, what happens over these 21 days, God, we praise you in advance for what you're doing in us, for us, and through us. Not because we're so good, God, but because you are so good. Thank you, Father God, for teaching us how to pray effectively. Thank you for teaching us about the believer's authority. Thank you, Father God, for giving us resources, God, that we can refer to that will strengthen us and edify our faith. I thank you, Father God, for this body of believers that are coming together that are joining their faith, that are uniting their faith together. God, your word declares that a threefold cord is not easily broken. So as we unite our faith with their faith and that of Holy Spirit, God, it creates a conduit. It creates an open heaven. It creates an access point, God, for you to come in and throw your weight around to show the enemies who's boss. I thank you, Father God, for this time of fasting and prayer, God. We do not take it for granted, God. We are thankful, God, to be in the number. God, I thank you for every person who is coming into the fast, God. And I just thank you, Father God, for the miracle signs and wonders, the testimonies that will come forward saying this fast of 2024 was a game changer in their life. God, we thank you. We praise you in advance. We love you and we worship you, God. Teach us, God, how to be better, stronger, and wiser. Teach us, God, how to press in, how to draw closer to you, God. Because when we pray and we fast, we apply prayer pressure in the spirit. I thank you, God, for your people, and I thank you for this opportunity to pray. I decree and declare that this will be a powerful week. This this week of January 8th through January the 12th, that God, you're setting some things in motion, God, that you're answering some prayers, God, that you're moving some strongholds, God, that you are covering and delivering and favoring and releasing and destroying and establishing, God, things that only you can do. Thank you, God, for this week of powerful prayer, intercession, and fasting. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for this opportunity. Now, God, whatever it is we should be mentioning, whatever it is we should be holding up on behalf of your people, we decree and declare that it's done and it is done well. In the matchless name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Mm-hmm. Listen, God bless you as you go throughout your day and throughout your week. Again, don't beat yourself up about the fast. This is an opportunity to fast. It's not a, a sentence or it's not um, a difficult thing. It is an opportunity to get closer to God. Listen, if you're looking for an opportunity to sow, Pursuit for His Presence Ministries is good ground to sow into. The information about sowing, ways to give is on the screen. It's not because we desire a gift, but we desire fruit that may abound on your account. Again, we give honor to our senior pastors, Pastor Kevin and Kendra Blanton. We give honor to our church family, Pursuit for His Presence Ministries. We give honor to our overseer, Pastor Cesar Roland Richburg and the entire Richburg family. We give honor to Mother Blanton. We give honor to our co-laborers in Christ. And we give honor to each of you. You're not watching this by accident or by coincidence. God wants to do some amazing things things in your life. Share this with someone that you know is going through or needs to um, be encouraged. Someone who um, may want to join us on the fast. Listen, it is not about us. It is all about God. So we Mm -hmm. want your life to go from glory to glory. That's why this ministry exists, is to empower disciples and to compel the lost and to, to dispel lies and to teach truth about who God is and who we are in Christ. We're praying for you and we believe in God for some great things in every area of your life. Anything else? All right. We love you guys. Have an awesome week. Bye. You got this. 21 days. Piece of cake.